What's going on, guys? So if you came here from somewhere else and you just want the link, it's going to be the top link in the description. But if you want to stick it out, today we're going to be covering the interview section in the coding directory. Now, there are two sections to interviews, and these can be multiple rounds, but typically um, the first round is almost always a behavioral um, Besides the the online assessment for CS uh, majors, so basically, let's back up. So an online assessment is basically like something you may get, like a hacker ink or a code signal, like any of those, right? Like you have like a leak code easy or a medium, and it gives you like an hour to solve it. You don't have to explain anything. Um, you just solve it, you submit it. If you did it right, you get points. Um, if you score some points, you get the next round. It basically works like that, right? So in a traditional manner, you have the behavioral, right? So the behavioral is basically um, is basically a recruiter. Um, basically just sits you down or like if you have it virtual, it's just not, like in a Zoom meeting, um, you basically just speak to them. And some of the common questions are like, tell me about a time where you, you know, um, overcame a challenge and how you overcame it and what did you learn? Like something like that, you know, generic questions like that. And I have a whole list of these questions uh, down in this link right here. Um, and um, the best way to go about this is to practice with someone because... You want to make it as, you know, as realistic as possible there. If you don't have anyone, you can just record yourself to speak to yourself. And then um, you can play it back and review it. Um, so you have to think like a recruiter. Um, would someone hire you if you said those things? Um, so these are the questions you should look at. Now, behaviorals are typically pretty easy, I'm not going to lie, um, and many of you guys are very smart and talented, so you probably will ace this part, like, pretty, pretty straightforward, pretty easy, right? Now, the technical is where most of you guys will get messed up, and this is the same case for me, so, you know, I can't be just, like, I can't just say, you know, I'm above you, I'm, I ace the technical every time, um, the technical always gets me as well, but um, you can speak well, code well, but if you can't do this technical interview well, you're you're done, okay? So let's look at this dude named Neat Code, okay? What Neat Code is, like if you don't know his YouTube channel, I recommend going on YouTube right now and just sub subscribing to him because he's amazing. Um, he basically uh, breaks down lead code questions now what is lead code lead code is basically the interview questions you'll get so an example is like given two numbers um given two numbers uh like add them together or multiply them together like basic basic example right um and you basically have to just solve it using a programming language of your choice so like for me like python is my go-to but i know people who use c plus plus or java um and you just solve it now this can be confused with the online assessment but this time it's a technical interview meaning you're speaking to someone it's like a behavioral uh but you're coding so basically as you code you basically would just uh, like explain your thought process, what you're doing, why you're doing it, and everything like that. Now, if you can't do the code problems, I recommend you literally just go in um, and do like a leak code easy. Do two sum, okay? Two sum, just search it up. T W O S U M, two sum. Just do that one. If you can't even do that one, or if you can't do like any other easies, then what I would recommend you do is to do code wars. It's basically like an easier version of lead code, um, and I would recommend going through with that. Now, the, this is really what you need for interviews. It's like once you get the behavioral done, 
it's just leak code, bro. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna, like, gatekeep and It's just leak code. Like, if you're good at leak code, like, everyone hates leak code because of how much grindy it is. And I would recommend you just hop on it and just work work at it um, your best and just, you know, continue to grind away at that. And leak code is like the gym uh, for CS majors, so that's why people, you know, hate it. Like, you want to go, you need to do it, you have to do it, but you don't want to. That's that's the thing. Um, so yeah, do or first start off with Code Wars. If you think Code Wars is pretty easy, head on to Leak Code, and like once you can do like like level one, two, three of Code Wars, I would just recommend just hopping onto Leak Code Easies because Leak Code is the go-to place um, for the technical interview prep there. But yeah, that's basically covering all of interviews um, in a nutshell. So yeah, that should help you. Uh, again, the link is in the top link in the description if you want this, um, as well as all of the other ones right here. Um learning how to code, internships, resumes, certifications, cool programs, like Beyond CS, all of that, right? And um, I do have another section coming up uh, for the Live Beyond CS, which is the scholarship section. So stay tuned for that. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching. If you found value out of this, please consider subscribing, liking, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And have a fantastic day.